Hi there, it's Sean Mosh. I'm doing a totally uncut video. I love doing this. This is really how I got started helping people online is I would be in a group and somebody would ask a question. I was like, oh, here, let me do a quick little video. So someone was asking me how to resize something. And I said, well, let me look at the SVG and make sure it's not a problem with the SVG. So they got me the SVG. Wow, that's a large image. Okay. I'm gonna upload all of the different SVGs that they sent me. And this is how I get into a project and kind of troubleshoot and kind of see, well, what's what's the problem, issue, or concern? Let's add all of these to the canvas. All right, that's a hot mess all on top of each other. But I can click on that group and drag it. Okay. So this is for some cake toppers. And I am going to zoom in because I'm pretty sure it was this one over here that she was working with. So this is telling you it's all of the different pieces. Okay. If I have this selected right here, it's all grouped. So what you have to do is figure out how big do you want this cake topper. So I'm going to use a shape to help me do that. And if I wanted my cake topper to be six by six, I'd make this square six inches. And then I'm going to have to, let's make this white so we can see other stuff as we resize. So now I'll take this one and say arrange to the front. Okay, so I don't want to just make this file six inches big. I need just the portion that's like the main part of the design. So like the bulk of the design to be six inches. So now I'm just resizing this. And Just moving some stuff. Okay. And remember, this six inches is just a totally random number I picked. Maybe your cake topper is going to be a different size. But this is how I would do this. Because if you were to ungroup these things, then this wouldn't work because you'd resize one element and the rest of them went resize together. So now if I'm resizing like this, now when I put this six inch square in there, you know, the overall design or at least this piece is a little bigger than six inches. So now I could take this down. There, so think about your design and if you want that main piece of it to be a six by six square, then that's how I would resize things. Then you can delete that square and all of this stuff, I would ungroup it so that you can get rid of this text in here, but all of these pieces will be resized 
the same proportionally. So let's say we're looking at one of these. Okay, that is a lot of layers. So this is how the finished item is going to look. You can see right now, this is saying the entire project is four inches wide. So that's going to be a very tiny star. So let's say we wanted a star. And this is a two inch star. I'm going to say let's just want a four inch. Okay, see how much we have to resize that? So let's zoom out. So now when I resize all of this, I'm going to go arrange and to the front. You can see even with resizing it a bunch, it still needs to be bigger. That's getting closer. So are you going to be able to do it exact? Like I know my cake topper will now be seven inches or four inches or whatever. No, but this can help you eyeball it to figure out about how big to resize everything. And then honestly, what you could do is cut just one piece. And what I might do if I were making this and I was like, okay, is this going to be the right size? If you were to duplicate this one, keep the duplicate all grouped together and turn it off. Then ungroup this one and maybe just cut this gray stone to see if your size is right. Then if it's not right, you still have that other one that's all grouped together to know how to adjust it. I hope this helped you with resizing projects when you're not really given a lot of information on the project file. Thanks. Make sure you like and subscribe.